My name is Sarah Margaret Fuller O'Sally, but many of you may know me as simply Margaret Fuller. I was born May 23, 1810 in Cambridgeport, Massachusetts. My father was Timothy Fuller and was a prominent Massachusetts lawyer and politician. My mother, Margaret Crane Fuller, was a school teacher but left that occupation to be with my father. I was the first of nine children, but only five have lived to grow up with me. My father is the main reason that I am a writer for women's rights. He taught me to read and write at a very young age, which is highly unusual, being the wo that women are still looked down upon in this age. He also educated me in languages such as Greek and Latin. However, because my father was involved in political campaigning, I ended up attending Port School in Cambridgeport, then Boston Lyceum for Young Ladies, and finally the School for Young Ladies in Groton. After spending two years there, I left to go back home and help my aging mother. I then became a teacher at the School of Providence, Rhode Island, before moving to Jamasia Plain, Massachusetts, where I conducted my well-known conversations. These were discussions among the young women about history, fine art, and literature. With these conversations, I intended to compensate for the lack of schooling women received, which somewhat worked. After this, I founded a journal called The Dial, along with Ralph, Ralph Waldo Emerson. The Dial was committed to sharing our ideas about transcendentalists' views, and, a long, and in long story short, the belief that people are better off as individuals and not part of a society. Also, that society and its institutions eventually corrupt the purity and innocence, if you will, of an individual. During my time as an editor, I traveled the country and interacted with different Native Americans. From these experiences, I was able to write the book, Summer on the Lakes. Many people call it the book of the season. Because of the research that was needed to create my book, I also became the first woman to study at Harvard's library. Another one of my works that was published in the Dial was called Woman in the 19th Century. It discussed the role of women played in democracy in America and how we could improve it. After leaving the Dial due to dwindling subscriptions, I decided to work for the New York Tribune, where I became the first female editor. There, I reviewed not only books, but also literature, art exhibits, and lectures. I even published different columns with a variety of topics such as literature, art, poetry, and social and political issues. The New York Tribune also sent me to Europe as their first female foreign correspondent. I interviewed different writers and also wrote articles to send back to the Tribune. In Europe, I met my husband, Giovanni Angelo Osali, and had a son together. Now, due to the Roman Revolution, we are going to take a ship back to the States in a few days, and I hope to continue writing when I get back home.